Hi, I'm Paul Harker, Director of Strength and Conditioning here at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. Just want to take a little bit of time your day today to give you a tour of the facilities that we have. I have a little over 9,000 square feet of floor space to utilize. It is a split level facility. Uh, the main reason for that being is that all 18 sports, with the exception of ice hockey, train out of this facility. Ice hockey recently built their own facility over at the ice rink, but that still entails a little over 500 student athletes that are coming through here on a daily basis. So the split level facility, again, that allows us to have multiple teams training at once uh, outside of football. When football is in, we'll utilize both bottom and top levels just because of the numbers that we have. Uh, but we've tried to make sure that we've outfitted the weight room with equipment that's going to be beneficial to all student athletes, regardless of whether they're football players, women's tennis, or golf. Uh, we have 18 half racks total, uh, counting bottom and top, 12 downstairs, 6 upstairs. Uh, we'll do all of our core lifts out of the half racks here. Uh, we have the infinity flooring, so that's specifically made to withstand uh, dropping the bumper plates if we're doing any kind of Olympic lifts on the floor. So because of that, we were able to remove uh, the raised wood platforms, which opens up a lot of additional floor space for us. Uh, the, the floor space that's opened up by taking those platforms out gives us a lot of different options as well in terms of any type of dynamic warm-up that we want to do on the front end of a workout or any type of team core or stretching that we might do on the back end. Upstairs here, uh, we have a line of some plate load equipment, pretty good variety. This equipment is a little bit older. Uh, definitely heavy duty stuff, works really well. We've kind of got it set up in a push-pull uh, lower body format. So that way after we get out of our core lifts within the rack, athletes can disperse and, and use the plate loaded equipment for any auxiliary uh, exercises that they have as well. And then on the far side here of the upper level is where we have all of our different cardio pieces uh, with regard to our ellipticals, treadmills, spin bikes. We'll get use out of those for any of our injured athletes, for any extra conditioning that some of our athletes may require, in addition to maybe some metabolic type sprints or circuits that we might utilize in the off season, um, depending on where we are in our training cycle. So here we are in the lower level of our facility. Like I said, we have a little bit more square footage to work with down here. 12 half racks as opposed to the six upstairs, in addition to a wide variety of plate load equipment at our disposal. On this lower level, we actually renovated uh, coming up on three years now uh, in terms of getting all the, the half racks and the plate load equipment in. We've got a ton of variety to use. Uh, I, I tell our kids coming in as recruits that there is no one type of training that you won't do during your time here. It's all going to be dependent on where we are in the training cycle. All the half racks come equipped with removable and adjustable band attachments so we can utilize those for band bench routines. Uh, one of the nice things about these racks is there's a lot of different attachments that you can use to go along with them. Uh, not only the band attachments that we talked about, but we also have a pulley attachment here as well that you can feed a battle rope or a thick rope through. Again, and this would just be another alternative to doing a, uh, any type of pulling or overhead pulling motion. Whether you're doing a chin up or a pull up, or you're doing a machine pull down, you can utilize this machine here and get the same kind of work getting some additional grip and forearm work with the diameter of the rope and it's just uh, a change of pace keeps the guys uh, engaged and we can adjust this anywhere along the front side of the rack as well. Uh, outside of the racks like I mentioned we have a really wide variety of plate load equipment so along the perimeter here on the back side of the racks are all of our plate loaded pieces. We have a full line of upper body and lower body pieces. Our upper body pieces are set up in a push-pull format as we move down towards the back of the room, we have all of our plate loaded lower body pieces, uh, starting with uh, your squat pro, which is kind of the next step from doing a, a traditional barbell back squat. After the squat pros, we can go to your traditional leg press seated squat pro here. What's nice about this piece is that we have the option of making it an isolateral or bilateral piece just by moving that handle. So we can go from training both legs simultaneously to training one leg independently. In the far corner here, it's kind of my baby, this is one of the uh, original MedEx Avenger leg presses. This is actually uh, one of the leg presses that I used to train on and this is one that I brought with me from uh, my previous job. If we head back to the front of the room, then we have our dumbbell racks 
Anything we do with a barbell, we're going to be able to do that same movement with a dumbbell to a degree, and we'll utilize that throughout the year. Uh, we have our kettlebells that we'll utilize, our TRX suspension trainers on all the racks that we'll utilize as well. And then on the front end here is where we have our neck grip and, and forearm stations. So four five-way neck machines up front here. So again, we have a lot of toys at our disposal, a lot of different variations that we can use. And again, as I said earlier, it's all dependent on where we are in the training cycle.